In this video, we'll see how we can force a design to split in a certain way. First of all, we'll go to multi-hooping and click on automatically add hoops. When I go to preview hoopings and click on the first hoop, you'll see that there are certain feathers that are split up. If I click on this second hooping, you see that how the stitches are placed in the first hoop of all these feathers. And it would be a lot easier to align this design if I could put these four feathers together in their entirety in the second hoop. So let's undo to get it back to one hoop and go back to the digitized toolbox. I'll hide the hoop temporarily. We can force a design to split in a different way than would happen with automatically add hoops if we ungroup the entire design and then regroup the bits and pieces that we want to remain together. I'll select the design and right click and select ungroup. Then I'm going to use polygon select to select the feathers that I want to remain together. By clicking around the three feathers that I wish to combine and pressing enter, I can right click and then group these. The software is not going to split designs that are grouped. Now the other feather that I need to change is this feather and I'll also want to group it. So it's important to remember which feathers were partial feathers when you automatically added hoops. Again, I'll right click and select group. Now we'll take this same design and go back to the multi-hooping and this time automatically add hoops. I have two hoopings and when I go to preview hoopings, you can see that these grouped designs are not split, but will stitch all in the same hoop. It's going to be much easier to align this design with those feathers grouped together.